Hey guys, well today we're here in Fusion 360 and we're going to start working on some of the modifications we need to do for the BT-30 Umbrella Tool Changer to make it work with the Masso. So the first thing on the list is this sensor bracket. Now the BT-30 Umbrella Tool Changer did come with a bracket and sensor for home position. However, with the Masso G3 controller, we need to indicate each tool position as well as the home sensor. So what I've done is I designed this bracket to house two separate sensors. And then that way we can do both functions. As you can see, I've designed this so that we have a jam nut on the bottom for this sensor and a jam nut on the top for this sensor. That way we can get the two proximity sensors as close together as possible. Fit them all nice and compact on one bracket. I've also threaded the bracket so that we can use those jam nuts to lock everything in place. Now this particular bracket uh, was a fairly neat little project. Uh, there's not really much to it, but it did present an issue because these threads here are M12 by one. And of course I didn't have a tap or a thread mill for M12. So there's a little bit of a workaround to do this. Now this bracket I just made from uh, some scrap aluminum angle that I had laying around. And I just sort of uh, manually machined it to size here. The width here is 20 millimeters by about 45 millimeters. And this here from here to here is about 15 millimeters. And I just took this from the bracket that we had and I just made it a little bit longer to accommodate the extra sensor. So let's look at some of the uh, cam operations here. So I have a couple of setups here. The first setup is to bore these holes. I'm just using a uh, boring operation, a two dimensional boring operation to get these holes to the exact size. Uh, these are 10.9 millimeters in diameter for the M12. And then I came back with a thread mill. Now this thread mill is my M6 by one thread mill. And to my surprise, it worked really well. Um, it's the same thread pitch and it just went to the outside and thread mill uh, these holes it was a perfect fit, as you'll see when we go out to the machine and machine it out. So it was pretty straightforward and simple. I, I thought it was going to be somewhat difficult, but Fusion 360 did the com computation for me and the thread milling turned out perfectly. Uh, the next operation is just to, for these mounting holes here. So I just stood the part up and then used a spiral boring operation again to to uh, bore out these holes. I could have used a drill bit, but the spiral boring operation works uh, really well. And it gives you um, the right diameter hole. If you don't happen to have uh, the correct drill bit, this is a good method to get the hole size the way you want it. All right, so um, one other thing I wanted to note is the way that the, the way that this mounts onto the hub of the tool changer, I had to take and just cut the corner of this off and put a little chamfer on here to give it some clearance because right here is where the hub splits and the two pieces rotate and so I needed that to uh, clear for that to happen. So let's uh, go out to the Precision Matthews and uh, we'll machine this little bracket out. Okay guys, so what I've got here is our stock for the home and position sensors. So this right here is 0.8 by 0.8 by 1.8. It's just a piece of angle, aluminum angle that I've uh, machined to size here before 
we start these operations. Uh, this first operation is we're just going to be doing a couple of holes for mounting. Uh, and we've got an eighth inch end mill here. And just, we're going to be doing a couple of boring operations. So here we go. Take a look. Threads look pretty good. All right, so our sensor here is 12 millimeters diameter, and the thread pitch is point, uh, 1.0. So what I did was I used my M6 by one thread mill to thread these holes, and turned out really well. 
So. That'll be good. I'll put a lock nut on uh, a lock nut on one side on the bottom for this one, and then this sensor because they're so close together, I'll put the lock nut on the top, and then that way I can uh, secure them in position. All right. Well, guys, that'll wrap up this video. This is the home sensor and position sensor bracket. Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, click on that subscribe button down in the bottom right hand corner. Also click on that notification bell. That way when I post a new video like this one, if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always guys, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe and most importantly, be safe.